Uh, I think this is kind of a weird question. It, it has a very easy answer, but I know that people are going to be intimidated by that absolute value and the fact that they're asking for x minus 1 and not like x. Uh, the short way to do it is just to recognize that if we were to take this original equation, the absolute value of 4x minus 4, um, and divide it entirely by 4, so that's dividing the, uh, the left side by 4 and the right side by 4, uh, we would end up with the absolute value of, well, 4 into 4x is x, 4 into negative 4 is negative 1, and then 4 into 112, you did that in your calculator, is 28. So when they ask for the positive value of x minus 1, they're just saying, okay, well, if you took the absolute value of it, you're supposed to get 28. So what positive number gives you 28 when you take the absolute value? And that's just 28, right? So we don't need to know x here. We're just being asked for x minus 1. It kind of appears in the equation in this sort of hidden way. But if this is bothering you in any way, remember, this is still just a solvable equation. And you don't even need to solve it. The calculator can do that for us. So remember, you've got this Desmos calculator built in. Absolute value, it's right there in the bottom left. So you can enter that as well. It doesn't b bother me. The calculator is going to handle it fine. So 4x uh, minus 4, absolute value, now let's leave those, and then equals 112. Oop. This is one thing with this calculator is I think the buttons are too small. So notice though when I graph it, I don't see anything, right? Uh, there's nothing coming up. But um, it just means that I, my zoom is wrong. So I'm going to just zoom out. And on my iPad, it's very easy. And see, now I see two green lines straight up and down. And the reason they're straight up and down is that this, this equation does not have a Y. So it's not going to graph it like a line or like something else you might graph uh, in school or on your own calculator. This is basically just an algebra equation solver at this point. And those straight vertical lines are the solutions. So if I look at it, oh, of course, it's not going to let me tap it. Sometimes it lets me tap it, but we don't need to here. We can kind of see very clearly that the positive value is 29, right? But just be careful. This is where we have to be a little, you know, cautious. What is that 29? Well, the calculator here is solving for x. So it's telling us that x is equal to 29. And if we go over here on the other side, we'll see that it's also equal to negative 29, um, or sorry, negative 27, which makes sense because of the way that absolute values work. But we don't care about that because we're not interested in the uh, negative side of things. So we're just interested in this 29 here. And then all we need to do is just think about the rest of the question, right? What do they want? They want the positive value of x minus 1. So that's 29 minus 1, which is still 28. So the calculator does have this potential mistake of like just out of habit, you solve for x because that's just what they normally want, I guess. But um, we also should note the SAT very often changes up what they ask of us just to kind of see if we're paying attention. So uh, as long as you're on guard about that, the calculator will take care of everything else for you here. You just, yeah, need to have a little faith in it and understand that when it's giving you those vertical lines, those are the values of X. So do with them what you need to do, but it's basically just solving any equation that you put into it. Um, sometimes it even lets you just tap it and see it, but uh, because of the absolute value here, it's not doing that, but it's fine. We are able to see it very clearly and then get the question right without uh, having to worry about algebra at all.